guys. So I just recently got an email um, asking how I keep um, the liners inside my Critter Nation cage flat and how do I hold them into place and um, whatnot. So um, I wanted to go ahead and do a really quick video just to answer those questions and kind of give you a little, little show and tell. Um, unlike a lot of videos I see of these rat cages, um, this is what it looks like after, you know, after the rats have been in it. It's not freshly cleaned or anything like that. I do maintain it daily, but, um, I haven't gotten to it yet. So, if you see any mess, that's because they're rats and that's what they do. Um, as far as the liners go, I bought blizzard fleece from my local craft store. I bought two yards and that two yards was able to give me two sets of, um, liners to cover the shelves and both the top and bottom, or I should say the middle and the bottom pans. So in other words, the black shelves, the black pans that are in your double critter nation cage, two yards will give you enough to have two sets to cover that. One to have on the cage and one to have as backup when your other one is in the wash. Um, I've actually got three different colors I've used. Um, I bought blue, I bought yellow, and I bought green. So I just kind of mixed and matched, you know, just to make it a little bit more colorful. To hold them into place, I just use, excuse me, Nameria, binder clips. And what I've noticed really helps is in the corners. Rather than just sticking them in here, I put the um, clips right there in the corners, and then I flip them down. See how they go up? I flip them down so they really, <laughs> Mary is pulling the camera really um, hold the corners into place. That's helped a lot, unlike other methods I've tried of holding these, you know, various types of fleece or blankets or even the um, bath mats into place. Doing the corners like that really helped because that's where I noticed the rats would begin chewing. As we can see in this particular corner, you can see they've already started chewing on it a little bit and I noticed it by this little blue fluff that was in the corner. I'm not sure who did that but they're not on my happy list right now. Uh, but you know that's just what rats do. They chew. Face it. Um, which is why it's really good if you buy this fleece is to get it when it's on sale, when it's on clearance, if you have coupons. may not be the color that you want or you think is you know the prettiest but it is eventually going to get destroyed at some point in time. Um, some rats are big, you know, they chew more than others. Um, my girls are chewers. So, yeah, um, two yards of blizzard fleece. I got mine at Joann's. You can measure out um, for your top and middle, tr the, the big trays. It's three feet by two feet, so however many inches that is. Um, and then for the shelves, just basically half of that. And I didn't do so good measuring. As you can see, I've got a little bit more material than I actually wanted to. Not so much on this yellow one. Oh, yeah. See how it's a lot more material than I wanted. Hi, Bray. <laughs> a lot more material than I wanted. But um, it does the job. And I can always fix that later. Uh, what else did I want to say? Um, for the shelves, I just used mini binder clips. Because for some reason... The width of the sides right here is wider than the main trays, you know, the, the big trays. So I wasn't able to get the binder clip to fit onto that, so I just used the little binder clips to tuck them underneath on the lip of the tray itself. Hi, Demaria. Um, yeah, so I think that's all the, the, the email asked was how I got into place. Um, how I held them in, what they're made of, yeah. As far as cleaning, I just used a little, um, well, here's the dustpan. My daughter has run off with the broom that goes with it, but it's just a little, same size as this, little um, brush and this little dustpan, and I just kind of scoop up whatever I need to. And that's what it looks like on a normal <laughs> daily basis. Uh, they're mostly litter box trained. Um, you see there's a little mess in some spots, but for the most part, it, this looks pretty darn good. 
they knocked over the litter box because I didn't have a clip holding into place. My bad. Um, so that was my boo-boo. Normally that would look a lot nicer if I didn't screw up, but... I uh, hope that I answered any questions anybody else had who was wondering the same thing based on my last cage tour. Um, maybe if I get some new stuff I'll do another one because I just recently took my boys out and now the girls have full range of this entire cage. So this entire double coordination cage is just for my girls. My boys are back in my Petco Rat Manor over there because they're lazy and they don't do anything. So and they were wasting all this you know space and they were quite content to be in that one since they get out so much so again thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed to my blog that address is www.ratwhisper.com and be sure to subscribe uh, to this youtube cham channel so that i can go ahead and do my giveaway once i reach that um 100 subscribers i have a giveaway so review my videos so that you can see what you can win and i will talk to you all later bye